What's going on, Geminites? It's your boy, Gem Mint. Today, we're going to do a review of Robert Kirkman's Firepower. This is a trade paperback that kind of came out of nowhere recently, and a lot of people were asking me to review it, and I'm glad they did. This book was awesome. We're going to jump into the review, but before we get started, make sure to check out our sponsor, CheapGraphicNovels.com. If you're looking to purchase any Omnibus, Absolute Editions, Deluxe Editions, or more, they have them for up to 50% off. They have immaculate packaging, quick shipping, and great customer service. Plus, they have a bargain bin where you can get titles up to 90% off cover price. Plus, if you mention Gem Mint in the memo at checkout, your next order will have free shipping if you're in the United States. So check out CheapGraphicNovels.com. All right, so we have Robert Kirkman, who obviously wrote The Walking Dead. He wrote Invincible. He's writing Oblivion Song. And I don't know that he gets enough credit as a writer. I mean, sure, people say, yeah, he created The Walking Dead. He's known for that, but... I don't think people really appreciate how good his writing is. I mean, his writing is always sharp, it's witty, it's fun to get through, it's never walls of text that are just dense or boring. It's always flowing and very enjoyable. And all those titles that I mentioned, including this one. Then we have art here by Chris Samney, who I guess did some work on Daredevil, I'm not sure which run. But it has a very like Oblivion Song type of art style to it, and we'll do some overhead shots here. But this is about a character named Owen Johnson, and it has kind of like Iron Fist vibes. It's basically this guy who's searching for something. We find him in the mountains, I think it's the Himalayas, and he's looking for, you know, that kind of hidden training dojo type of area, that hidden city, uh, and he finds it, and he goes there. He's really on a quest to find out who his parents are. He's orphan, but the story kind of makes you think he's looking to train to be a fighter. Now, we find out that he has trained under many uh, masters in, on his quest to find out who his parents are. And something about him, he, he's a very fast learner. So he really masters these different martial arts styles and he impresses the, uh, the master here. And uh, he's also a very fun character. He's like your typical old wise man. But he's also pretty hip. Like, he always has the people from the city go down to the mainland to bring him back stuff. So he likes, like, brand new Jordans. Or actually, I should say, uh, vintage, new vintage Jordans. Like, he takes Owen's iPod and he's like, you better have some good music on here. So, like, he's hip to what's going on, but he's still kind of like that old, wise martial arts master. It's called Firepower because they train kind of like similar to Iron Fist, right? It's almost like a, a Kung Lan, how do you say it? Kung Lan? And, and, and like ch harnessing the Chi kind of vibe. But it's really like they train on harnessing the energy around them in the air and they are able to like heat up their bodies to like heat up a, a bowl of rice. Uh, and, and the master is uh, up tire tirelessly at night trying to basically uh, channel fireballs and, and he's constantly practicing against this little pillar. So uh, that's kind of why, why I wore my Ryu shirt because the fireball thing plays a part here. Yeah, so it's a mysterious Shaolin temple. I didn't really know how to word it. But uh, those Iron Fist similarities kind of go away once we get into the story. Owen is a very likable character. He seems kind of like a noble goody two-shoes type of guy. Um, he meets a, a girl here where love is forbidden. She's like a monk as well. And they kind of get a little in a little bit of trouble for that. But there's also some mystery surrounding the Shaolin Temple. There's this door that's that's got an, a very large armed guard, which is supposed, supposedly guarding this dragon. It's rumored that the dragon is what makes this place habitable in the snow. It's what melts the snow to create their water and to create their atmosphere. So that's kind of like a little lore behind the uh, the temple. And we find out that there's this other clan of warriors who attacks them every so often, and they sure enough attack from here. I'm not going to really spoil the connection to Owen, but uh, it's definitely uh, interesting. It's a page turner, and it kind of leaves off, like this is the prologue, right? I think this, this is going to be like a weekly series or something like that. I'm definitely down to follow it. Let's flip through the artwork. Let's look at it together, and then uh, we'll wrap this thing up. All right, so you've been looking at the cover this whole time, but here's the cover of the trade. Here is the the kind of a uh, Shaolin master. This is the the female character we meet here. This guy is kind of uh, somebody who's giving Owen a hard time, and we learn why. And then here's Owen. This is part of the battle I was talking about with that other clan. I forget the name, but we'll probably see it in here. Yeah, but it's the prelude, and it looks like we also have Wilson and Wooten on the book. And this is taken from the beginning. 
I like the, the aspect with the butterfly. That was pretty cool. It starts off almost like a silent book, though, right? Which I like. So it's him going through the mountains. Very nice artwork. I like the coloring. It definitely has an Oblivion song vibe to me. But, uh, yeah, he's looking for this temple. It's kind of like one of those temples that people will spend years trying to find it, and they never find it. But here we go. Now we see our our master. What is his name now? I forget, but see, he's got the Jordan 1s on. He's got headphones around his neck. So, yeah, he impresses the master. He ended up training under a bunch of people that trained under him. So uh, he, he, he makes himself worthy to uh, be accepted into the city. Here's, like, this melted... Uh, pillar here where they try to practice throwing the fireballs. No one has been able to do it uh, since the master who is now a stone statue uh, at the front of the temple. Here he goes here, practicing at night. Oh, and he's a quick learner, so he uh, he wants to try to learn that as well. I like how he sees the butterfly because in the beginning he almost gives up trying to find the temple but the butterfly kind of leads him which is kind of like is that going to play a part later what's the deal with the butterfly here's the guard in front of the dragon door and then here is the attack on the city awesome fight scenes I mean this is a great martial arts type of book the characters are interesting especially the old master I feel like his name was like Lean Wu or something like that don't uh, quote me on that but uh, really enjoyable firepower. All right, guys, so that's the firepower trade paperback. Really enjoyed this. It was a quick read. I knocked it out in one sitting, and I definitely want more. Uh, I think the next issue or the first single issue comes out today uh, from when I'm recording this, so we'll have to be on the lookout for that. Uh, definitely digging this. This is a Skybound book, so this is uh, Kirkman publishing this on his you know, Skybound imprint under Image. Uh, definitely recommended it. This is just a $10 trade paperback, so it's very affordable. Um, let me know what you guys think about Firepower in the comments down below. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel for more daily content. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of the videos or live streams. And if you enjoyed this review, go ahead and hit that like. Thanks for watching. Stay minty fresh. Peace.